me tell you something. We built South Florida. People don't know that. It is a job-creating machine. We spend millions and millions of dollars every year in the local economy. More boats are bought and sold here, worked on, repair, refit, than anywhere else in the world. It's not about yachts, it's not about boats, it's work. People from all over the world are eager to bring their boats into the United States and offer them for sale to our residents. On average, 13% of whatever the boat's value is is spent in whatever economy that boat is docked in. But in 1908, Congress passed legislation requiring a reciprocal cruising license to any foreign flag vessel in U.S. waters. The law, as it now stands, makes it illegal to offer a foreign flag vessel for sale to U.S. residents while in U.S. waters. This legislation that we're working on right now, it's about adapting to a modern market. We are trying to change a 107-year-old law that restricts boats from coming into our ports and creating jobs. These floating economic engines, which can travel with great ease, will be encouraged to come here as opposed to discouraged. Over the course of a year, we'll service over 100 boats, looking over the engines, doing a thousand hour service, cleaning the heat exchangers, charge air coolers. It's a year round job. The concern that uh, we have in the marine industry and boat builders in particular is uh, taxes. We've been through this before when the luxury tax uh, came into being uh, some time ago and it had a devastating effect. People either decided to defer or to outright not make a purchase. And uh, that not only had, of course, a consequence for the boat builder, but it had consequences throughout the entire industry. Because the sales tax on boats was 6% unlimited, we had a lot of boats that were not being bought and sold and registered in the state of Florida. It used to be that when you bought a yacht in Florida, you had to leave because you didn't want to have to pay this huge amount of sales tax in Florida. FYBA's first foray into the legislative effort was with the tax cap on a local level in the state. If we found a amount that people would voluntarily pay, we could actually close these transactions in Florida, we could register them in Florida, and they could be maintained and stay in Florida for as long as they wished. So you can buy a boat in Florida, pay $18,000, register in Florida, stay here and get all your repair done. That's helped the industry the economy tremendously. And guess what? They're making more money on tax. We are happy that uh, the luxury tax, of course, is behind us, but it's another concern going forward from an industry that has uh, already been shown is, is sensitive. Our latest initiative is deferred importation. Boats that are here under a cruising license are forbidden from offering their boats for sale until they import their boats and pay duty on them. What we're asking is to shift time. We simply want to have them pay the duty at the point of closing. Everything starts with the sale of the boat, the refits, all the workers on the boat yards, the paint jobs, the air conditioning guys, all this work begins at the point of when the boat changes ownership. So we're excluding that from our economy. The people around the world, they think that it's all champagne and caviar. It's not. It's work. And as long as we can keep these sales going, that's what causes the work. One man can spend $2 million, the next man buys that boat, he rips everything apart that he just did in the past two years and does it over again. The beauty of this legislation is the fact that it costs the American public nothing. FIBA estimates there are about $2 billion worth of yachts that are foreign flagged that cannot be sold to U.S. residents while in U.S. waters. All that commerce stays offshore in other countries. All those workers, jobs, and everything stays offshore. Just like with the sales tax cap, 
this is going to be a big benefit to our nation's treasury. We can easily point to a minimum of $260 million in direct economic impact if in fact boats were simply allowed to be offered for sale and then duty collected at the point of closing rather than up front. The perception that this legislation is a benefit to the rich uh, is really misguided. We're not suggesting a tax reduction, but rather an adjustment of when the tax is collected. We don't want to lose this fragile industry that we have, and it is very fragile. And everybody in around the world wants our industry. We are working to change a 107-year-old law that has deterred commerce and prevented U.S. residents from boarding foreign flag vessels while in U.S. waters for far too long. The ripple effect of changing this legislation will have a huge impact on the bottom line to the marine industry, the jobs, and our economy. We ask you to join us.